The story of the Cheesedon Valley is one that spans the years when Britain changed from a predominantly rural community to become the first workshop of the world. Several mills provided one or more rows of terraced houses for their workers, and in the case of Deep Vale, these virtually formed a hamlet. In 1968, Bury Cine Society member Roy Turner, who was not a member at that time, produced a film in a more lyrical note about the Cheesedon Valley. Living in Jericho, Roy based his film on a recording made by his friend Ron Cassidy at the Pack Horse Inn on Albert Lane, Jericho, a mile south of Burkle Dean. The same with the other mills in the valley. The Pack Horse has gone. Their workers have passed away, and their workers' houses are falling into decay and ruin, just young enough to have seen the introduction of electricity into the valley, a modern touch to this ancient abode. About a mile north from here, on the road just outside the Lord Raglan, heading towards Edenfield, stands the remains of Grant's Tower. To the west is Holcombe Hill and the Peel Tower built to commemorate the abolition of the Corn Laws in the time of Robert Peel when he was Prime Minister. There is a third tower which is not in sight of here at Turton and we are going to show a film called Three Towers of Lancashire. In this film we will look at how and why these buildings came about and the people behind them. To end the show, we return to the Cheesedon Valley to see how it has changed in the last 30 years. But at the end of Cheesedon 30 years on, we will have come full circle to see how the valley has returned to its rural beginnings and new purposes lie behind the restored and the new. But enough still remains to gather an insight into how the valley served another purpose well over a century ago. Now restored by the Great Manchester Archaeology Unit, the wall was partly blown down in the Great Storm of February 1990.